Interesting question from Jack Knife. How did you guys overcome your fear of hell? Um, I wasn't actually raised with a lot of phobia indoctrination surrounding hell. Um, but so it's never something I really thought of like in my adult life. I mean, I basically left religion when I was still kind of a child. So I never really thought of it as like this literal thing, but I think I did kind of struggle, like lingering in the back of my mind. And what really helped me was I was watching the atheist experience one day and um, a caller called in and basically asked Matt about this or asked him about Matt Dillahunty about his fear of hell. And he said something along, along the lines of how much time do you spend worrying about the hell of a religion you were never raised in? And that really stuck with me. Like I literally wrote it down, like put it in my phone, hung it on my wall so I could be reminded of that. Um, because on one hand, it seems like such an obvious thing. But if for someone who really struggles with that fear of hell, like framing it in that way can it really shifted my thinking on a lot of things. It really put it into perspective. So you're like, you're right. I actually, I don't think about the hell of Hinduism or Buddhism. I'm, I'm not afraid of that. So it, it was a really good external reminder to myself that this is something I was raised with that I was taught to fear um and having that external reminder like literally putting it around so that I could remember that just in my environment helped me a lot yeah I think I I I stopped fearing hell once I one time one time I asked myself like because I was an atheist and sometimes I still thought about like the potential of hell existing, even as if even as an atheist. I think one time I just asked myself, like Armin, how possible? Like honestly, how possible? Like I know you always say that everything is possible, okay? But seriously, how possible are we talking? Like given all that, that I've known, given everything that I know about history, Given everything that I know about <laughs> human psychology and you know religion and the claims that they make, like let's be honest, how possible could it be? Like I'm like I know every, I know I say everything is possible, but come on, like it's so obvious that this is so ma made up. Like it can't be. Like I was like because a lot of times I ask myself like maybe I'm being biased. Maybe like maybe. It's just like everybody has their biases and I'm not being honest with myself about the possibility of um, opposing opinions. But then one day I was like, this is so childishly stupid. Like everything, all these claims about religion is beyond any doubt, any doubt, any reasonable doubt. These are made up nonsense. Like, at some point you have to like let go like at some point you have to understand that it's it's almost certain that none of this may is based on anything real yeah i think that's a good way to look at it too hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.